Hello everyone, welcome to my Sister Wives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Unfortunately, Sister Wives patriarch, Cody Brown, expresses his shame about some of his conduct on the show. Likewise, he acknowledges the need for drama to make the show intriguing. Undeniably, having your life on camera comes with pressure. While the Browns hoped to give the world a peek of the benefits of plural marriage, the reality TV series has highlighted many internal problems. Cody Brown discussed shame for his behaviors. During an interview with Mormonism Live, Cody Brown confesses he is ashamed of some of his acts on screen. After addressing what it is like to put their family quarrel on parade, Cody reveals his humiliation. While host, Bill Reel drew Cody into the conversation, Radio Free Mormon, nicknamed RFM, followed up. In like fashion, RFM revisits a comment on an embarrassing memory that Cody starts to discuss, but stops to address Bill's earlier query. Then Cody says, Every time I work, I'm in front of the camera. Once or twice each episode, I would do something I felt like was embarrassing. Sometimes it was quaint and cute even or whatever, but then it got to the point where I was doing something embarrassing I was really ashamed of. Cody Brown talks about his process of dealing with the shame. While Cody Brown has made mistakes, he seems to be striving to evolve. In reaction to the embarrassing acts, he talks about his way of dealing with them. He says, I'm still a man of faith, and so my prayers recently have been asking Heavenly Father to help me avoid doing things I feel shame about. While he argues the show isn't scripted, he adds there are times the producers can elicit a rise out of him. Furthermore, he continues, because my habit, and the reason I think I have had a successful TV show, is because the habit of the family is to be frank and honest, and we cross lines. So it's like if I don't like something there's a tendency for me to almost feel like I had Tourette's, where I'll say something that is just out of line because it triggers me. Being on camera takes its toll. Although Cody Brown acknowledges the necessity for drama to retain audience involvement, it also weighs on him. He comments, Frankly, I'm pretty sure. This is my rationalization. It probably makes good television, but it's actually heartbreaking. Also, he reveals, Whether I'm lashing out at the question of a fan or I'm lashing out at the interpreted behavior of a family member, it has its influence on him. Admittedly, for the first five years of Sister Wise, he could watch an episode and go through it with a smile on his face. Additionally, he could handle the embarrassing times in stride. However, in the latter years, he claims now he almost can't bear to watch. When he sees the more contemporary episodes, he says it makes him physically ill. Likewise, he shares it has overall become a painful experience for him. Undoubtedly, the loss of Garrison Brown has made these feelings even stronger. What do you think about Cody Brown's repentance of his disgraceful acts during the Mormonism Live interview? Do you believe he is genuine? Since his experience with sister wives, do you believe he would take it all back now? Drop your comments below. Sister Wives star Garrison Brown's sister Savannah Brown went candid about how she's weathered the death of her brother. Two weeks ago, on Tuesday, March 5, my older brother Garrison took his own life. He was 25, Savannah, captioned an Instagram slideshow on Monday, March 19. I'm having a hard time understanding it, but I know now, more than anything, that my brother Garrison is no longer in any more pain. Savannah went on to remark that she regularly sees evidence of Garrison in her everyday life. Every time I see a car that looks like his on the road, I briefly wonder if it's him on his way home from work before I am reminded that he is gone, she wrote. When I make PB and Jess, I am reminded of him. When I look up at the night sky, he is there. Savannah closed her message by noting that she hopes anyone who may be reading this never underestimates how big of a hole their loss would leave, adding, Persevere, for the sake of your family, for the sake of your friends, for the sake of the ones who love you. Sister Wives Cody Brown and Janelle Brown Family Breakdown Savannah's post includes a childhood pic of a young garrison cradling her as a baby, as well as recent shots from his trips. 
the siblings of two of Cody Brown and Janelle Brown's six children, including Logan Maddy, Hunter, and Gabrielle. Janelle and Cody confirmed Garrison's death in a joint Instagram statement earlier this month after an apparent in the suicide. lives of all who knew him. Our loss will leave such a great hole in our lives that it takes our breath away, the exes wrote alongside snaps of their son on March 5. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. A police report obtained by Use Weekly not long after indicated that Janelle was concerned about Garrison following a text he wrote to those who work with the Brown family, which read, I want to hate you for sharing the good times, but I can't, I miss these days. Sister Wives Family A Guide to All of Cody Brown's Spouses and Children Upon learning of the text, she requested her children to check in on Garrison. Gabrielle reportedly found his brother's body at his Flagstaff, Arizona home. Several Sister Wives stars have already paid respect to Janelle and Cody's late kid. Christine Brown called Garrison a wonderful, caring brother in an Instagram tribute, while Mary Brown wrote that he was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him in an Instagram post of her own. Garrison was laid to rest during a March 9 funeral, which his half-sister Michaelty Brown said was the first time in years their entire family got together. I think that ultimately, obviously, Garrison would have been happy by that, Michaelty, who was one of Cody and Christine's six kids, said in a March 12 Patreon video. The thing I know about Garrison is he wouldn't have wanted us all to stop living our life and stop doing what we need to do and what we want to do. Maddie stated in a Monday, March 18, Instagram video that mental health played a key factor in Garrison's death. I don't think we talk about it enough. I don't think we do enough to bring awareness. It wasn't bullying. It wasn't a lack of affection that Garrison had. It was mental health, she told her followers. And I am going to continue talking about mental health and self-care until I'm blue in the face, because I don't think it's talked about enough in a way that people understand it. Sister Wives star Garrison Brown's siblings are mourning his loss after his death at the age of 25. His sister Maddie Brown sent a heartfelt tribute via Instagram on Sunday, March 10, showing a photo of Garrison with her children. My words seem to fall short, she wrote. Our hearts are broken, and we are now swallowed with the love now left behind for this beautiful brother. God be with you till we meet again. I'll meet you at the gates of Valhalla, dining with our forefathers who battled before you. Until then, we must live in a more grey world without the light you brought. Maddie included a statement in her caption which said, Grief, I've learned, is really just love. It's all the love you want to give but cannot. All the unspent love collects up in the corners of your eyes, the lump in your throat, and in the hollow of your breast. Grief is merely love with no place to go. Wendlin Brown, one of Garrison's half-siblings, retweeted Maddie's tribute via her Instagram story. Uncle Bob in his natural element, she added, referring to Garrison by his given name. He was born Robert Garrison. Yes Weekly verified that Garrison died by apparent suicide on Tuesday, March 5, in Flagstaff, Arizona. When authorities arrived at Garrison's residence that morning, he was already dead after sustaining what seemed to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound, according to the Flagstaff PD Garrison's brother Gabriel Brown reportedly found him. His parents, Cody Brown and Janelle Brown, recognized his passing via a joint Instagram statement. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.